this video I'm going to do a step by step build of a OR gate demonstration circuit. So an OR gate is part of digital electronics but it's a simple uh, circuit so you can learn a lot of basic electronics from it. So now to begin with we're going to be making the circuit in between the switches here. So I'm going to run this positive side to that pin of that switch and then the positive side to that pin of that switch. So when we push this button that will complete the connection over to here and when we push this button that will complete the connection to over there. So now this jumper really makes this the OR gate. If we push this button then we have a path coming from positive down to here. But if we push this button then we have a positive path coming to there. So no matter which button we push we'll have a path from positive coming to this jumper. So that brings us to the LED. So we have to put this the right way into the circuit or it won't light. So the long leads going to where positive is. And as I said no matter which switch we push positive is coming to here. So we have the long lead, the anode there, the short lead, the cathode is down here. So now we're going to need to protect the LED from a 9 volt battery and connect it to the negative spot. So for a jumper I'm going to use a 470 ohm resistor. I'm going to plug it in next to the cathode of the LED over to the negative power rail here. And now I have a 9 volt battery attached so if I push this switch the LED turns on if I push this switch the LED turns on and if I push both switches the LED turns on. So the switches are the inputs whether they're on or off determines whether the LED is on or off and the LED is the output actually what comes out of the two inputs is the output but uh, the LED is the load attached to the output so we can see when it's on or off. So now quickly before we go you may be tempted to wire it in this way. I replace the two jumpers with the same value resistor that I use to protect the LED. These are 470 ohm resistors and that's the minimum you want to protect the uh, LED but uh, this is a bad setup and I'll show you why next. So now that we got the power to the, the rails you see it still works as an OR gate. If you press one it lights up or if you press the other it lights up and also with OR gates if you press both it'll light up. But now here keep an eye on the LED you'll notice it gets brighter. You can really notice it on my finger. And that's because these resistors are in parallel now. They're often offering parallel resistance so you're getting twice the current. That's a, another topic but an important one you got to be careful of. So when I had the resistor right to the cathode of the LED to the negative rail it only had one path to go through and it actually provided more resistance than if you push both of these. And 